I've always been amazed by the image reveal animations you see online. During my live streams, I learned to how to recreate a image reveal animation. And today I'm going to teach you how to do it as well. But before we do that, let's look at the example and break down what's happening. Oh, by the way, we're going to use a free WordPress plugin and you don't need to know any code for it. So let's have a look at the example. Here's the example from the Drive Capital website, and we have three things happening. So let's break those down. But first, let's set a different kind of mood. Thank you, Dark Vader. There are basically three things happening. One, that there's a filter set, so the colors are going away, and the image is black and white. Secondly, the height changes of the image, and there's a change in scale. You can see it feels like it zooms in and out. If you combine those three, you'll get something similar like this. But as you can see, some strange content jump is happening and that's something we don't like. So let's fix that and add a scroll reveal as well. This looks more like the example we seen before. What we did is we added a clip path and added a interaction layer to the parent container. First, let's try to understand what clip path is. So let's visit one of my favorite clip path side so this represents our image the first value 0 0 as you can see is set to orange and it's the top left corner then you have the second polygon which is 100 0 which is the top right corner you then have the next one which is the bottom right corner at first we want that one to be set to zero height so as you can see it will change the values from 100% to 0. And we want the second one on the bottom left corner to also be 0. So this is our starting position. And what we would like to happen is that this side and the other side simultaneously will increase to 100%. And that's where interaction layers comes in clutch. What an interaction layer enables you to do is to add some kind of javascript in there to make the image reveal itself so now that we have a basic understanding let's not only tell but also do it ourselves you can follow along by downloading the code there will be a link down in the description or if you're feeling lazy or would like to support me you can download the finish section for a small fee as well so the first thing we would like to change is our colors of our image. You can do that by clicking the image and then on the right hand side go to background options and then scroll down for filters and mix blend. Click the cog icon for the settings and in Drive Capital website they have set the sepia setting to dot 2 which makes it more brownish contrast to dot 9 so it becomes more dull in the color brightness and then the grayscale to one so there we have our black and white image you can play around with these settings just to see what's actually happening and what i'll keep it for like this for now the next thing i would like to do is set the original position of our image or i should say the original scale so we starting at one half times size. Now as you can see in the example it was nicely contained and now it's very very big. Fix that. We'll select our container. You can also do that in the document option where you have your image selected. Select the parent container. Go to facing on the right hand side and then underneath overflow set it to hidden. This will hide the excess image that's outside of the container. So it won't be overflowing the container. Next, what we like to do is to add the interaction layer. Now, what are interaction layers? Interaction layers are actually the most fun thing in the free plugin from Greenshift. You can trigger certain things to happen. And as you can see, when you open interaction layers, you can set a trigger. So we want something to happen when the container is entering the viewport. The root margin is a setting that you can set when something will happen. I like it to be on my 
center of my viewport, which is the middle of my screen. You can play around with, this, with these settings if you have some understanding what's happening. For now, I will keep it like this, and this will make sure it at minus 50 from the top, zero from the left, zero from the right, and minus 50 from the bottom. So center, the interaction layer will wait until this element is on that level of your viewport. Add a action, because now we have a trigger, but what would we like to happen? So we would like to set a CSS property of print form. And when it's done, we want till to be set to one. We also need to change where the action will happen on. So we select custom cog wheel. You get a nice model showing everything in there. Now you won't see everything like I have. But you will see one container and this is the container that's happening on and this is the image we would like to change now during testing i noticed already that we need to add image because this will select the container and this is actually the one that we would like to change we can add image img at the end and then insert select now if we update it and do our post down a little we should see that the skill indeed is changing so for the next part we would like this image to be hidden on start so we go to advanced and see this version we will add the clip off we saw earlier you can copy and paste it from the website but it's this polygon we are going to use so as you can see it's now hidden we go back to our container and in advance we will add another interaction layer now this is something we already set up just yet and we can just add another action we want to happen on the css variable and we want to clip off to change 100 percent size and a 100 percent size as well and the last two values are the bottom corners of the image so that's the one we want to change and we can just copy and paste the selector because we want the same one to be changed so let's update there we have our image reveal animation Woo, we've done it you can celebrate now and if you like this don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more of these kinds of videos and don't forget to hit the like button if you like to see more of these kinds of videos. Now that you have learned the image reveal animation and how you can create it in GreenShift using no code whatsoever, you should also learn other animations you can recreate in GreenShift. So watch this video next on how I show you how to recreate a nice looking hover animation effect. And if you're still watching, subscribe to the channel for more of these kinds of videos and keep designing.